huge congratulations. <laughs> How does it feel to be recognized as Music Artists of the Year? I mean, it's an award for music. For music, hello. <laughs> it's, not. it's actually amazing. I don't, honestly don't think we've won an award for music before. Anything for music. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. And it just, and I was watching all the other nominees thinking, oh my God, we do not stand a chance because... Do a lipper? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Let's sorry, see Dora. if she's here in 25 years. Oh, oh, well, this is, this no. was a thing though. It's, it's really, really exciting because we're still making music yeah. and to be recognized in music yeah. 25 years on is really incredible. Exactly. Amazing. <laughs> You've had an incredible journey and not just with music, but championing LGBT plus inclusion throughout your careers as well and continue to do so. Talk to me about that, that power that music has in bringing community together and championing marginalized communities. What, what, what does that mean to you? We've just said on stage that uh, the LGBTQI plus community have been there from the start. Yeah, I always say that the LGBTQI plus community are such incredible pop barometers. They're, they yeah. are on anything before anybody else, before it becomes mainstream. Yeah. And they have been our lifelines. They, they are the reason that we do it and actually the reason that We're we are still, still here. here. And the first to embrace us, yeah. really, yeah, and, and you know speak loudly for us. So yeah. I think I, you can probably say for most successful artists, that have a long career, the LGBTQI plus community is, are the first to get behind them. I think if you kind of go through history and, and, and mm. look, really look at it, you will see that that is something we've all got in common. But it speaks to the testament of the music you create because then people can relate to it, find resonance with it. And sometimes it's life affirming as well for people like that. What do you hope your music's message is to everyone out there? What, what is that kind of messaging? What do you hope people take away from your music? I don't think it's a that package, we, I think. but I don't think we go out to, mm. to spread a specific message. I think we want to be escapism. I think we want yeah. to be somebody's uh, theme Joy. tune to their diary. Yeah. We want to just be a part of it and for people to interpret it the way that they need it at that time. Yeah. But just have a moment where they feel good or feel like they need to drown their sorrows or whatever moment it is. It's just mm. we feel really like honoured to be a part of people's coming out stories, to be their safe space. And you know, I, I don't think it was ever intentional but it's just really it was a match and it, it's yeah. happened and we love it and it we, right. we're so so proud of it anyone else I love and that. we yes. I mean <laughs> yes we, we also, all yes. the messages I, I yes. we're kind of we're all a little bit eccentric in a way as well and we all love to embrace the performance side of it and I think the more visual you are as a performer I mean not <laughs> H mean? obviously yeah, no, like, H has got nothing I mean, to do with that by the way <laughs> into the background you know <laughs> but I, I don't know I think if you you are we put our whole heart into everything that we do and we put it, it's kind of we put a lot into the performance side of it and I think this community really appreciates that as well yeah. and it's because fun to be it's escapism yeah like it's said. like it's fun to be a heightened version of yourself yeah. and be allowed to be colorful and allowed to just stand out a little bit back to the school run you know exactly. it's yeah, exactly it's well, that's what you we, know, we, all, we all need a bit out of that I but think. that is yeah. h's school run outfit by the way but that's beautiful because you do that but still are so authentic about being yourselves and that in itself is so powerful i think that's obviously another part of it as well is that we don't apologize for who we are no. for what we are we, you know i think maybe back in the day we all, we wanted to be cool we, we wanted, wanted to we wanted to fit in yeah. and actually we didn't and we when we realized that that is when we kind of totally embraced ourselves and and steps as a group and what we actually are and what we mean to people. And I mean we so stood out didn't it? I love yeah. this so Claire said earlier when you're not cool you don't go out of fashion <laughs> and I love that. Yes. I'm having yes. that on my grip. That's us. <laughs> it's never in fashion. I was gonna say yeah, yeah. we're not cool but suddenly we're in fashion. I don't I mean we're never definitely cool. <laughs> we're like one, one final question before I let you go and don't keep you longer but What's one advice you would give to an upcoming musician who identifies as LGBT plus? What would your message then be? What would your advice be? What would your words of wisdom be? I think you've got to take this one. Well, I mean, it's, it's simple for me. Be your authentic self. Yeah. Don't be a carbon copy. Live your best life. Yeah. Just be you. Yeah. I love True that. to who you are. That's all that the band to look like Abba. <laughs> 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 with, with glitter. I mean, with lots of glitter. We're heightened versions of that. <laughs> and we love it. Huge congratulations again on this win. Have a wonderful evening and I hope to see you on the dance floor later. Gorgeous. You're too kind. I'm too flattered. Oh, oh my gosh, it's all yours. It's all yours. We're really holograms, don't worry. <laughs>